There was a time when it was believed you needed to eat protein every two or three hours or you risked losing muscle. And old school bodybuilders swore that eating six to eight small meals a day kept their bodies anabolic. But does that really matter after 50? Or is it just old school bro science? Let's look at what the latest research actually says about how often we should eat protein to build muscle and stay lean after 50. Eating protein every couple of hours works, mainly because it's easier to hit your total protein goals. But modern research shows that meal frequency itself doesn't really matter that much. The real key is protein quality and the total amount. You want to hit what's called your leucine threshold. Leucine is the most anabolic of all the amino acids found in protein, and it acts like a dimmer switch. The more you have, the brighter the light gets, and the more it stimulates muscle protein synthesis, which is the process of repairing and building new muscle. Well, up to a point, and that for most older men is about 3 grams of leucine, or roughly 30 to 40 grams of high quality protein per meal. You'll hit that with foods like chicken, beef, fish, eggs, or a good whey protein shake. Plant-based options work too. You just need a bit more because it contain less leucine per gram of protein. Think of leucine as the transmission for muscle growth. Once you get that 30 to 40 grams of protein in, you've kicked your muscle building engine into high gear. A randomized control trial increased protein intake at breakfast and lunch for 24 weeks in healthy older adults with the average age of 61. The goal was to even out their daily protein intake and what they found was this increased lean tissue mass, with the researchers concluding an optimized and balanced distribution of meal protein intakes could be beneficial in the preservation of lean tissue mass in the elderly, showing that spreading your protein evenly across three or four main meals produces the best results for maintaining and increasing muscle, instead of having most of your protein at dinner like people traditionally do. Skipping protein at breakfast, for example, means you're missing one of your daily chances to stimulate growth. Remember that dimmer switch? Every time you eat a solid dose of protein, you're dialing up that switch and lighting up your body's muscle building machinery. You leave it too long and it starts to go dim again. Adjusting the switch three or four times a day is all it takes, so not quite as often as the old school bodybuilders used to think. If your goal is to lose fat while keeping muscle, protein distribution becomes even more critical. Higher protein diets, especially those with protein spaced evenly throughout the day, help preserve lean mass and keep you feeling full longer. Protein takes more energy to digest, keeps cravings away, and helps maintain your metabolism during a cut. So if you're in a calorie deficit, eating enough protein is about more than muscle. It helps you lose fat, not just weight. If you'd like to better understand how to blend training, nutrition, and weight management to unlock muscle growth over 50, grab a copy of my free guide. Links in the top comment. Now after a full night's sleep, your body hasn't had protein for 8 or 9 hours, putting it in a muscle breakdown state. That's why a high protein breakfast with around 30 to 40 grams can be a game changer. It's your first chance to dial up that muscle building switch, setting you up for the day. One of my simple go-to breakfasts contains a couple of eggs with plain no-fat Greek yogurt. It gives me just over 30 grams of protein. Compare that to toast or cereal, which really adds nothing to kickstart muscle growth. One of the most underrated times to have protein is before bed. Again, 30 to 40 grams of slow digesting protein like casein can boost overnight recovery and help your muscles repair while you sleep. This is especially effective if you've trained in the evening. Before bed is another time I like to have plain no-fat Greek yogurt. It's packed with casein protein and digests slowly, keeping amino acids available throughout the night. You may have heard, or you might be thinking, especially since I've mentioned 30 or 40 grams of protein so much during this video, that that's all the body can use in one sitting. And while it's recommended to have at least that much per meal, that doesn't mean that's all you can use. As a recent study found out, your body keeps breaking down, digesting, and using protein for hours. They discovered if you eat 100 grams of protein in one sitting, it doesn't go to waste. It just takes longer to use, finding a prolonged anabolic response even after 12 hours. What really matters is hitting your daily total. Basing it evenly throughout the day is a practical way to keep muscle protein synthesis active all day long. If you're over 50, you've probably heard of anabolic resistance. This is when our bodies no longer respond to ingesting protein like when we were younger. But what really causes this? Is it really aging or something else? Watch this video next to find out and how this affects the amount of protein we need over 50. And keep working out while having fun. This is Lawrence from Fit and 50. We'll talk to you again in the next one.